In this video, we'll learn to read, write and understand thirds, quarters, fifths and tenths. Now, in a previous video, at entry two, I looked at quarters and tenths. So, if you need to revisit these, please have a look at the entry two video on fractions. So, now I will focus on thirds and fifths. Again, I'm referring to a pizza, which has been cut into three equal parts, because that is what a third is. One slice is one out of the three. So three means that I've cut it into three equal parts, and I'm taking away one. So this is what one third means. If you want to look at it, I'll try and cut off one third of the pizza. And here it is, this is one third of the pizza. It means it's been shared out in between three people or you've cut it into three slices and you're going to eat just one for the time being. Maybe later on you have the rest. So that's how we read it as one third, one third or a third, which also means one out of three. So one out of three. I will try and represent a third of these rectangles as well. So this could be one third of this. So equal parts, one part. This is one third, this is one third as well. I could split these horizontally as well. So this is one third, this is one third, and that is one third. How do we work out one third of an amount? Let's suppose that the whole pizza costs 12 pounds. So all of this pizza costs 12 pounds. I wanna find out what is one third of the cost. So I've got one third of the pizza, how much would this be worth? How much would this cost? So look at that. How many people would share this and have equal pieces? And that would be three people, one, two, three, or just three slices. So that means we're sharing the cost equally as well. So is this being halved? No, it's not. It's been cut into three. So it's sharing the cost in between three. So I will divide 12 by three. How many threes fit into 12? And that is four. So that is four pounds. One third of 12 is four pounds. What would be one third of, let's say 24? So that is 24, again, split into three, that gives me eight. So that would be eight pounds. Okay, what would be one third of 72? 72 meters, 72 liters, whatever it might be. So again, one third, that suggests we're sharing it into three parts. We're dividing it by three. So how many threes fit into seven? That is two of them and there is one remaining. So how many threes into 12? And that would be four. So the answer would be 24. So to find a third of an amount, you'd again divide it by three or share it into three, just like with a shape, just like with a pizza. We're now looking at a fifth. 
So that is one out of five or one divided by five. So if you look at the pizza, I've got it into five equal parts. Let's have a look at just one slice. So what I've taken away is one fifth of the pizza. How does a fifth of a rectangle look like? So we'll have a look at a fifth of this. So we could split it into five equal parts like this or horizontally so this gives me a fifth this gives me a fifth as well so what is one fifth of 25 pounds so let's suppose that the whole pizza costs 24 25 pounds what is the cost of just one slice so sharing out equally so that would be divided into five just like the pizza was cut into five so 25 divided by five that gives me five so one fifth of 25 pounds is five pounds what would be one fifth of 55 so 55 again, shared equally by 5, 5 into 5 it's 1, 5 into 5 it's 1, so again it would be 11 pounds. Let's find now what is one fifth of 130, so 130 meters, liters, kilometers, whatever it might be, finding one fifth of it. 130 divided by 5 so 5 into 13 fits twice and there is 3 remaining so 5 into 30 fits 6 times so 26 is 1 fifth of 130 so to find a fifth again we've got to share that number into 5 divided by 5 